Hello guys and welcome to another video from Vintage Radar. Today we are going to unbox and have the initial review of the Omega Swatch Watch, so the Moon Swatch Mission to Mars. Now if you're new to the channel and enjoy this kind of videos, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and also if you are into vintage Swatch watches, make sure to check out our website VintageRadar.com because we have over 1000 vintage Swatch watches for sale link in the description below so guys this is the mission to mars moon swatch so the bioceramic omega swatch uh, watch this is made right after the omega speedmaster so you have the same specs when it comes to the case size and let's have a look at it here you have the uh, omega swatch uh, partnership and here you have a few information about the uh, Mars planet so that is a very cool feature once you start to uh, take the box out you can already see that the swatch can be unveiled through this middle and here is the swatch as you can see the mission to Mars is the red one with the uh, white strap so this is a very cool feature I really like the design here we have a small uh, booklet about all the um, Swatch Omega uh, watches that they have so you can find more information about them and you can also look at the different designs in case you want to purchase a different one in the future so that is one and here on the right we have the uh, full uh, book of the watch and here we, I also have the receipt so this one was purchased from Switzerland so from Geneva uh, when it was a little bit uh, more hyped so I have a friend there and um, she was able to purchase the watch for us and now we also have the Omega Speedmaster in uh, our possession that we just purchased from Greece uh, we have a full review about that on the channel as well so make sure to check it out now let's have a look at the watch as you can see it already comes with a new battery so it is ticking here it has the sub dial at six o'clock let's take the uh, protection off as you can see very nice dial the crystal is also plastic just as on regular swatch watches and it comes on this very long velcro strap you have to take it out of this support box and as you can see it is signed speedmaster mission to mars moon swatch and here you have the swatch logo and here you have the omega one so that is quite interesting uh, i have seen a lot of people complain about the watch strap and i'll try to put it on to get a feeling already it starts to feel a little bit cheap so the strap isn't what you might expect from a swatch omega watch but as you can see it is quite cool although it has this extra loop that uh, you get from the velcro but nonetheless very cool uh, looking watch as mentioned you have the original speedmaster uh, dimensions so that is quite nice you can get a feeling about the real omega speedmaster in case you want to have that watch in the future this is a chronograph so you can actually use these two pushers in order to start and stop and reset the chronograph so if you want to start it simply press the top right one if you want to stop it you press it once again if you want to continue press it again and it will start ticking once again then stop and then if you want to reset it, you can actually push the second pusher and it will reset to 12 o'clock. If you want to set the time, you need to pull the crown all the way. So to the second position. Then after you have set the time, you can push the crown all the back in. Here is the back of the watch. As you can see, mission to Mars as well signed. Swatch Swiss made. And here you have the... Uh, cap from the watch battery so you would need to use a flat screwdriver in order to take this uh, lid off and to replace the watch battery you can do that uh, in the swatch uh, store if you live next to a swatch store or if your uh, town has 
uh, swatch store. Once again, you have the sub dial here at uh, six o'clock and this is not a rotating bezel. Once again, the watch is made of bioceramic. So that is something quite new compared to vintage plastic swatch watches. So we'll have to see how this bioceramic will uh, stand the test of time. So guys, I would say that this is quite a cool uh, swatch watch. It was a great marketing move that um, helped the Omega and the Swatch watches sales. So both of these brands benefited from this partnership. I know that there are a lot of people that say that the Omega is a very expensive and uh, high-end uh, watch brand and uh, they should have not done so. But I believe that now there are a lot of people that have these plastic Swatch watches on their wrist and they can actually fall in love with the Omega brand and then they can actually research and find more about Omega. So this was a really good uh, marketing move and we will see in the future how this uh, partnership, how this advertising uh, moment actually pays off for these brands and how this uh, model will keep on uh, selling or not to this day they still sell at overprice so you can actually get them for about 350 400 500 or even more on ebay so you have to pay a premium in case you do not have a swatch store in your uh, city or a nearby city otherwise i would suggest going there regularly and you can actually find different models in stock as you can see we also have the mission to the moon model here on the right, which in my opinion is better looking. I prefer this one to the uh, mission to Mars. But if you are looking for a more sporty, funky look, you can actually go with these variations and you can go and browse through all their uh, models. I've seen a lot of people that want to collect all of them. So that is once again, something very interesting. And we will see how these watches uh, perform. How will they look in the next 10 to 15 years and whether this bioceramic material will be just as good as the plastic one on the long run. So guys, if you want to see the unboxing on this one, make sure to check the video in the description below. And also we will be posting a video, so a full review of the Omega Swatch watches. Once we will get the feeling of them, we will see all the imperfections on the watch hands, the dial, uh, on the watch battery, on the lid, how to replace the straps, because we have seen a lot of information and complaints online and we want to test them out and tell you whether they are true or not. So guys, once again, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you on the next one.